Skype. I'm gonna turn this up a little because this is ridiculous. All right, let's get going. Warm up games hype. For some reason, I have a bad feeling about this deck in my mouth. Bad taste for it. I don't know. I think we only played one game and we lost. And I think we played Control too, right? So I don't know why I feel that way about this deck. But hopefully today will change my mind. Oh wait, Elvish Visionary was supposed to go in here. I think it's a pretty good call. <laughs> yeah, man. Warm up games were the best thing I ever invented. I guess it's a keeper. Holy moly, choosing to keep a hand in duels is much different than choosing to keep a hand in arena, I'll say that. If you've not played arena. The way you mulligan, etc., is different than it is in duels. Our deck isn't really great against red deck wins. You're just gonna put it on a bunch of tiny creatures. That'd be annoying. So this seems pretty good against selfless spirit. Wow, we're still drawing lands, huh? Sure. I got Lannery Flynn last night. That's uh, disappointing to say the least. Well, I did get beaten by Lannery Friends once a couple days ago. That was embarrassing. Right. I mean, just because we're playing Supernatural Stamina and Flashback doesn't mean we have to try our hardest stuff. Playing maps in here, right? I think we put maps in. Looks like he is stalled on lands, and that's good for Team Good Guys. my favorite version of that song. I probably already told you guys that and already played all this, but we're doing it again. Um, I know what I want to listen to now. Oh, let's see how this album goes. And we're roping our opponent. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Who's that? Ghost. It's a spirit. Look at this thing. Well. Okay. Doesn't matter if we crack now or later. Kept it inside much too long. Well, this is just like a. Well, I don't know. 
That lady probably does bad things. It's a lady, right? It's a youth, either way. I guess we'll play the hub to get more energy and more cards. Look how many cards we have. It's ridiculous. Polis. Welcome, Kenneth, to the stream. Thanks for showing up again today. Let's use one hub. Oh, that's on. That's on. Boy, he's strong out. He's going through hell. Kalidas is a very good card. So we'll play it. Oh, he got his third land. That's trouble. Oh, we can crack the clue for our vengeful rebel. Yes, please. Oh my God, that's just a lovely, lovely mechanic there. Let's pretend we have fatal push, huh? Vengeful Rebel is... Got him! This is not... Not at all the song I wanted to hear. It's the right singer. Just a terrible song that I want to hear right there. Let's try this one. How much does Geico love saving people money on car insurance? Um... Assistants love to annoy you. When does the gym close? I mean, is Vengeful oh, Rebel just no, probably not a more consistent oh, Wasteland Strangler? Wasteland Strangler is a 3-3, three, three, right? Oh, hey, Jim. And Vengeful Rebel is a 3-2. They both cost three with one black. But Revolt is much easier to trigger than processing. At least with the cards we have. Sylvester Stallone movie kind of. What movie would that be from? All right, let's run it again. Let's not delay. Let us not delay any further this duels match. Here we go. Man, I saw someone with an awesome pirate deck yesterday. Holy moly. How did he draw those cards? Over the top. That's when you gotta do like the finger thing. Come over. Bam! If you guys have not seen Over the Top, probably one of Sly's better movies. <laughs> I take two. I take two, and sometimes I count punts in the second one. Depends what kind of punt it is. If it's like a timer punt, I probably won't count it. Doesn't mean you guys can't count it. You guys always have the final say. I can just not help you. It's the best I can do. Turn three Bristling Hydra into turn four Obnixilis? Seems good. No! I just told Chad about all my plans and you killed it. Who is this guy? Anubis of Chaos. Well, that's pretty threatening. We gotta find a way to activate our revolt. And I never put in the Elvish Visionaries either. Well, this is pretty good at blocking Ragavan. Our health total is not very low, though. I'm a little worried about Ragavan plus Shock. We'll see. Maybe we'll play an Oncrop Crasher and then I won't have to think about anything. T 
10 what? I'm going to skip it. I'm going to take this early damage. I think for me, I enjoy... Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Cocker, let's go for Sunday. Yes, yes, well, good afternoon. And it's, uh, yeah, it's great Man, to see you. we really need to trigger right. this revolt. Do what you want. Get your Maybe we just out. crash let's in, and then if he pumps, then at least we get revolt triggered, and, well, Bristol and Hydra might do the job. I think we crash him. If he wants to pump and like use a shock, then we get that card out of his hand. We get to kill Kariza. We put a 3-2 in play. Seems good. Bristol and Hydra, playing it because it's good. It's pretty much the only energy thing. I guess we have Glint Sleeve Siphoner. A little bit of synergy there. wonder what our deck is, uh, our deck synergy is at right now. I just kill Kari's up here. Seems pretty good. He can shock. You know I've been working so hard yes, all day long. Everything I'm trying to do, I know. I'm kill the bully? Turn out no, I don't like that. Let's kill Kari's out. Menace is annoying. So if he shocks the advocate, he gets through in first strike, but Why would he put one? Are you gonna try to shock the Hydra with three energy? What's gonna happen here? Is this really gonna work? He's gonna do one. How much damage is this? Oh, it's three. Still seems fine. Why he did the oh, I guess he needed to get the spell mastery. Why not do both twin bulls to face? I don't get that very much. Well, we're just gonna play Obnixilis minus. There's a good chance he has a haste creature, but whatever. If he doesn't, we're in a really good spot. If he does, we're still in a pretty good spot. Destroy, destroy. I'm listening to my radio. Got to get up a shock. Yeah, of course he had the hasty creature this turn. Well, I can't get any of these revolt triggers on my turn. It's a shame. I think we're going to keep the Hydra back at this point. Let's hopefully wait for a Volt Trigger. When we flip Nissa, we'll get a Revolt Trigger on our turn. Which is not now. I think we need one more land. Definitely should have kept a black up there. Yeah. 
Oh, he was trying to trick me? Ugh, fine. Jeez, dude. With all these shocks and twin bolts. Pretty freaking annoying. Boy, we need a proc on this vengeful rebel. Next turn, I guess. That's right. I can trade the hissing quagmire. Yeah, uh, what for Ragavan? That's actually not very good. I guess I can block Ragavan with the uh, Hydra and trade the uh, hissing quagmire for. Sunscorched Desert. Well, we're still at 10. And he is running low on cards. The Hazard, of course, is pretty terrible. A triangle solo? Yeah. Surprising. It's not surprising how much money Sam and Joanna saved by switching to Geico. He better have already passed his priority for freaking activating these on crop crashers. Pretty good, but we don't really have any cards either. So. I guess our top decks are better than his, but his are hasty with that uh, battle man. But we still have, we'll still have two creatures on board though. Hmm. This is even a better activation. I don't know why I'm doing this pre-combat. Because I guess is the answer. Whatever he wanted me to do that play it confused me, that's for sure. But I think we came out all right. I mean, this proc is really good against red deck wins. That's why that Ben Stark was playing um, the Sand Stranglers. swing I don't want to die here we'll swing with everything and play the sage I don't know what's the point of swinging with everything he's dead next turn no matter what Yeah, deal three damage. It's good. I mean, minus three, minus three is better. But, um, Sandstroke is pretty good, and there's no caveats. You don't have to have revolt. You don't have to ingest something. Woo! Boise! Look what happened here, folks. Wow. Okay, he got the best card in his deck for impossible. Woo, that's a pretty good card for us, though. We could shrink it and swing with both. That brings him to two. I think if we just get another four or five, that would pretty good. Five. We'll just chill. You can only draw one card, right? I was trying to get some pumped up songs today, Lebo. I'm glad you're getting hyped for it. We 
could use some more modern pump music too, though. Still open to suggestions. Got him. That was close. Had he gotten that hazard at like a turn earlier, we probably would have been dead. And that's how strong Hazard is. I remember when the gods first came out and people like weren't that sure if any were good or which one was the strongest. I think we can all agree at this point that Hazaret is the strongest. Alright, 2-0. Oh. Solid start. Untap land? No, sand's still terrible. Hey, there's. You didn't see one of those last game. Get wrong hype. got to post out one more time, Lebo, or I won't be able to click on it. Post it one more time. Oh, boy. Where are those Rex Ages at? That juicy, juicy tower. Come on, we needed a Rex Age off the top there. That would have been... Grotesque. All we gotta do is learn this didn't get rog. A little bit of a non bow. I'm gonna take them home with my non. This is a good version. Got him. Got him. Double tower, not good enough for him. Holy God, where's our Rex Age? We're never gonna find a Rex Age. Supernatural stamina, we can kill both towers, it'd be beautiful. Started watching the video. Two towers. Gosh, do we play Gitrog? He probably has a counter spell, right? Or who knows? It's so much better playing the computer with a counter deck than an actual person. The computer has no idea what they're doing. Oh, there's the red mana. See, I think that's why he really quit. It's because he didn't have red mana. Drake hype? Holy moly. My baby. Lol. You can't even do the double flesh bag play. We can just fatal push it, though. Push. Push again. If you have moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, and your symptoms have left is that, a, is that enough? You, no, he's one short. It one may be short. For a different perspective. Dispel if main deck. Well now there's something you don't see every day. Antivio, the only biologic developed and approved just for UC and Crohn's. Get in there. Antivio works by focusing right in the GI tract to help control damaging inflammation. Antivia. And is clinically proven. I don't need that. Are you ready? All right, hold on. We're gonna play the Bose song. Let's do the boogie. 
We're playing the computer, so I don't feel bad about not doing things. Thermo Alchemist. Boy, one land would have been sweet. Could have gotten a vengeful rebel proc. Seems good. This is all in my left ear. Sure. Got a sweet amount of enchantments, dude. Bedlam Reveler, I really like that card. I don't know what you're talking about, Beast. I don't know what you're talking about. Three and out, boys. Got him. I could have. I should have done that. That's a good idea. I should have flesh bagged and supernatural stamina. I don't know if supernatural stamina counts if you sacrifice. The reason I thought it didn't, but... There's a rabbit playing guitar in the mall in this video right now. Dies. I don't think Sack counts as dies. You think you don't think so? I just feel like it didn't work that way one time. But I could be misremembering. I gotta be this deck is good for me because it makes me think about revolt triggers and make me play my evolving wilds. All right. I swear it didn't work that way one time, Shard, but... I'm not going to fight you. That's what I believe it should do, too. And that's how I believe how it should play. I just, for some reason, have a memory of it not playing out that way. Gross. Boros again against the good guys. I think we gotta kill this, right? You can kill it any time, but he gets four life. Yeah, double glint leaf seems really good. Attack, play Glint Sleeve. Gotta crack it. I mean, we're just gonna draw so many cards, it's gonna be crazy. If he only plays one creature and we kill it next turn. thinking about all right there's 
There's no command for it. There's no command for it. I can't trust it. Wow, we're down to 12, boys and girls. This doesn't have trample, right? It's a lot of fatal pushes. I kind of want to chump with a glint sleeve and cast supernatural stamina. I think that's what we're going to do. That is sad. Maybe I'll try to put a pump spell on the glory bound and we'll just get massive value. I guess he's still exerting here. I gotta get my dog. One extra energy, value. What you got? Perfect. Perfect. Rip you, Gisela. Rip you right in the face. I feel bad for this glint sleeve because I'm drawing all the cards off of this one and I think it makes this one sad. Gotta do what you gotta do though, you know? Well, we're drawing a ton of cards and yet we still can't find our fourth land. It's a bit of a bummer. Maybe we'll play Advocate and hold up Push. Ha <laughs> ha, see? Eight Ball's the only one I can trust in this channel. Me and the Eight Ball are like this. Do we regret letting him gain that four life? He'd be at 12 now. Eh. I mean, the fact that we're still pushing it, maybe that is regrettable. Uh, we could have supernatural stamina, stamina there. I still, we still have the fleshbag supernatural wombo here. Should be fun to pull off. Too bad we are. Actually, we're only one mana short. Casting cause one is dece. I'm going to let the other one this time be nice to her. Let her draw a card. What do we do here? Do we just supernatural stamina? And if he doesn't bite, then we flesh bag. How have we not drawn a land yet? Hitting five for five will suck next turn. It's a good reason to keep your fatal pushes as long as you can. Instant speed removal is not that easy to come by. Shit, how much damage is that doing? Tell me it's not nine. Eight? Of 
Gross. Can't even draw off our glint sleeves anymore. You guys gotta remind me after this game to let the dog in. Got to. Land me, bro. Alright, bees. See ya. That's a land. What are the chances he has? I guess we could flesh bag and get rid of a glint sleeve. That seems okay. Just worried about on crop crash here. Oh, Sylvan Advocate has vigilance. That certainly helps. This bristling hydra is going to be protected forever. Maybe we do that. There's no way to get through this bristling hydra. It doesn't have trample, right? This was dumb. I should have killed it for sure. For some reason, I thought this bristling hydra was a good plan. I guess we kind of have lethal, though, if he swings and... He could have, like, built to smash if he's playing siege modification. I let the dog out. Nahiri. That doesn't kill me. I think we got him. Kill a glint sleeve is the best he can do. I guess if he still has built a smash, we lose. I mean, he could be looking for that right now. But we'll throw the advocate in front of it and see what happens. You gotta go for the attack here, right? We have just way too much lethals on board. Got him. All right, dog. <laughs> I feel like I get a lot of those unless you win it's a punt you know what guys I like drinking my coffee with just a little bit of whole milk or cream black coffee is just not as good though if I get like a uh, fancy coffee from a coffee shop then normally I really want to taste it so I'll drink it black but if there was like a coffee shop I went to all the time, I'd probably start putting milk in it. Also, I love espresso. So like if I want a black coffee, I'll get an espresso because I love those things. <laughs> Irish coffee, I have every now and then. We grind our own beans. I mean, the coffee we have is good, but when you buy a bag of it and you're drinking like two cups of it a day every day, I don't know. I definitely like the milk just to smooth it out a little bit. Especially if I have like a coffee like in the afternoon or evening. Definitely put milk in it. Then I'm leaning towards like cafe au lait style. What's going on, Malcolm? How you doing, man? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think my wife likes espresso very much. She likes it okay, but I love it when it's good. I don't really like Starbucks espresso. It's not that good. Oh, I know what you mean by Irish. I don't do that <laughs> on Wednesday mornings, but brunch is a good time for Irish coffee sometimes. But normally I just cut out Cut out the middleman and just put a little whiskey and milk in my coffee. Doesn't Irish coffee normally have like cream de menthe or 
Bailey's has Bailey's in it, right? Anyway, we should play another song here. We'll play my current favorite Christmas song. I've worn this track out on uh, YouTube. People probably doesn't even know what that means. Like, how can you wear a track out? This hand's terrible, right? We have not, we don't have a lot of two drops in here, I guess. This hand's better. Still gotta draw some land. Bailey's is a great coffee creamer. Lynch sleeves seem to work out pretty well last game, so we're kind of all in on this. Unless we just start ripping land like a champ, which we could do. Sensor. Pulling up sensor stuff. Hey, ooh, land off the top. Got like that. I don't know. I don't know about creamers. I do like tea straight, but I don't. I don't want powdered creamers. I need whole milk, or like half and half, or cream. If it's between drinking it black and putting something powdered in there, I'm drinking it black. Drawing cards is the best part of magic. You can quote me on that. I think some people might say winning, but drawing cards is the best part of magic. Espresso machine? I'm jealous of that. Is it a pain? Or is it easy? Like, I love coffee and espresso, but if it's a pain, if I would actually use it as much as I should. <laughs> that quote really had some longevity. That was a good one. Tesseret, get out of my face. I like that I don't have to attack. Like long tooth cub, you gotta do damage to the player, but glint sleeve, you can just attack. It's almost worth it to supernatural stam. Is this guy ever gonna play a creature or what? Ramping into Gitrog is actually pretty dangerous. I don't recommend it to the green the greenhorns out there. And I don't know if I'm going to do it either. You think about I don't know what a caffeine shake is. What is that? You like put coffee in a shake? Or you just buy things like Monster Energy or something. Regal Caracol. That's pretty terrible. Actually, we can do the flesh bag trick. We can do the flesh bag trick. Is it time? 
I think it's time. Problem is we can't push. We might want to push a cat. I guess we could do it all, right? Using the death cap. Rip your cats, bro. Meow. Cats in chat? Any chance for some cats in chat? I love me flashback too. That's why we are doing this. Whole deck. Or he's gonna start killing these things with his Tezzeret. Guys are very easy to kill. That's a lot of work. Those cats are pretty decent when they're played at the right time. I had to use three cards to kill his one five drop cat. Pretty bad. Wow. How did he get here so fast? Is he gonna wipe my board? He wipes the board we can kill with Quagmire. Sadly, these are the only creatures, so maybe it's okay that we use all that stuff because it's probably the only creatures he's gonna play unless he ultimates Tezzeret. Kill the Nyx, right? I guess he could do something here. He does have four mana available. Can we just get in with the cultivator? Might as well try it, right? It's better than activating the Quagmire. We gotta go get Rog at this point. If we could play two creatures, I would, but. I know the G Glint Leaf, Guilt Leaf, has like no use whatsoever, but. Keep hope alive, I guess. No, it is not Magic Arena. You are not allowed to stream Magic Arena. Sorry for tricking you, I freed nineteen ninety nine. I'm just hyped about Arena. And it is live to play for those who have gotten invites. The hard AI is about Regal Caracol. I haven't played hard AI in a long time. It's a good card, man. It's a good card. If it makes it to the Pro Tour, then it's a good card. We have nevers in here. Fatal Push is good for those. He's running a little short on cards. Yeah, they made that even more ex more explicit in the recent email. It's like, you can't stream. Well, if you're on the priority list, 
Oh, this actually works really well against Thing in the Ice, too. We need a reason to play this, right? It's got a counter spell. I guess we'll go for the push now then. Tezzerat plus Treasure Cove? Oh wait, these do these aren't treasures. They work just like treasures, but they are Ethereum cells. Never mind, rip that idea. Oh, telling time? Come on, man. Come on, Jose. Otherwise, if you haven't, if you don't have priority access or something, yeah, sometime next year. One more land in this advocate is we can play tracker, land, advocate. That seems like pretty baller play. I think it's better than Green Warden. There's still nothing I really want with Green Warden. Like if we had a Never in there, I'd probably go get the Never. Oh, you meant caffeine shakes from drinking too much espresso. Sorry, I missed that. Yep. I mean, caffeine shakes exist. That's like what Starbucks sells, basically. Man, I'm a grumpy old man. When I go to Starbucks, I'm like, I want my black coffee, and then I gotta wait through three triple frappuccinos and like a sandwich. Why are you going to Starbucks? Just want a bunch of freaking I think we go with Ob here. I really want to get that clue proc off the tracker. And I don't think he's got anything instant speed. He could definitely have a never, but what are we gonna do about that? Not much. I assume we have Delirium. I'm not sure though. We only got two cards for Delirium. Alright. That's annoying. What's eight, right? Seven? We gotta get Adam next turn. Yeah, mods can change titles. That's useful. I'm switching games, which I don't do very often. Could you please stop drawing cards when you're out of cards? Super annoying. We got a hit with the quagmire here. Another fatal push? You gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Anguished. Glimmer first. Pretty good plan. Boy, he really got that card draw when he needed it. Holy moly. Yeah, take it, dude. Save your anguish for a mixed list. I love it. I love it. Oh, that could have been a 4-4 if we played the advocate first. 
chat. That looks pretty punt-like. Hard to know, though. Not giving away the information about the land and advocates pretty good, too, but probably a punt. Had I realized that, I didn't realize it, so that's the real punt. I don't play advocate much. Not anymore. Cruel reality? Shit. Where, we need Rex Age. Stat, right? That's what we need. What a frickin' Rex Age, huh? Maybe I should have done all that after combat. Anguished? I'd be psyched for you to use your last treasure. Then we might stop attacking him, actually. Start going face. What's better here, Tracker or Nixilis? No Rex Age punt? I think I only have two. I don't think I played all three. And we've gone through 20, gone through a third of our deck. Probably have like a 40% chance of drawing it by now. We haven't drawn a Never or a Rex Age, either of which would really have boned this guy. But he seems to be drawing everything he needs exactly when he needs it, which is super annoying. Plus she's okay. I won't rest. Let's crack a clue. Hey I think we can take four in the air here. Getting there. Getting there. We just need him to not have freaking gas in his hands. He seems pretty gassy though. This guy's very flatulent. One five five is not terrible. He's gonna try an ultimate or something. Wow, this this is gonna be pretty good, folks. This is gonna be pretty good. The fact that he kept Gisela back makes me think he doesn't really have a good answer for something. I guess we. Still keep, should we go face? Should we go face chat? Say F this Tezzeret? We've worked so hard. I think we just gotta keep going here. You think the opponent made greedy plays? Pretty decent play. Languish? Fuck's sake. Oh, 
Well, let's hope he doesn't have a counter spell. We're gonna go for Obnixilus here. I'm gonna try to out card advantage him. The Sylvan Advocate's pretty good, but I think we go Obnixilus. Man, I would love the Supernatural Stamina or Green Warden. That's baller. Crams a ram! What up? Yeah! What up? Welcome to the temple today, Cram. This stupid Tezzeret. I'm gonna have nightmares about this Tezzeret. Really? How many languages do you have? Like seven? Reclamation stage is very tempting. Boy, this is a long, long game. Firstly, Hydra's good. I like Bristling Hydra a lot here. Counter spell check. Maybe we're saving it for Obnixilus. Either way. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's get there. I don't care about your mana. Yes. Yes. Draw land and like it. Oh my god, let's get these card draw engines online. Die. Die, you stupid planeswalker. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We'll go for it. Turn in the corner on a control deck. This is how you do it. Oh man, we get to keep up our supernatural stamina. Now we're drawing like three cards a turn. Total, <laughs> like 32. He took a lot of damage. That guy would be well dead had we gone faced with everything. Oh my god, the cards. Give me the cards. Yeah. yeah now who's ultimating things? There's no reason to play Kalidas before attacks, right? Right. Finally go face. We didn't draw a single land though for the tracker. That would have been value. Draw three cards, draw into a land, to draw a clue for another card. I guess he does have uh, those sweepers, so this is probably a bad idea. So the Hydra can, he already played both Languish, so all he could have is Yahinis, which means got him. Woo, that was a rumble. Rumble. Let's get back in there. We're 4 0. Game took forever. Go for Tez, said Shard. I agreed with you. Holy moly. He flooded out a little bit there at the end, and that's all we needed is that one chink in the armor. And we got through. Sneep. Oh, I was 
was gonna put on some moon hooch for you guys. I don't know if you guys are ready. Map hype? This is good. These guys are pretty hype. Glint sleeve. Star of the show. I know, Lebo. I was getting into it. It's too early in the morning to be making babies. Goes for all of you out there. You just keep it in your pants till later. Unless you're on your honeymoon, I guess. Well, that's freaking annoying. Though Ballista gives me hope that Rexage is going to be able to Rexage something incredible here. I think we're just going to slow play. We're going to play control against this guy a bit. Did you walk yourself into a map command? I think Shard knows what he's doing. Crack this map and play the rebel. Man, this rebel has been pretty good for us. This rebel has been pretty freaking good. I really feel good in this matchup. All right, Shard. Check you later, man. Thanks for stopping through on those discords, too. It's good to finally hear your voice. That was the first time I ever heard your voice. Okay, have a good one and good luck. I think you said you had some exams or you had a project to finish. Maybe you got that done. If not, good luck finishing it. choices of things to kill with my Rex Age. We need to find a supernatural stamina for this Rex Age. <gasps> so I do want to get this tracker online. We just take the hit and start Rex Aging next turn? It's not greedy, right? That's just what it is and we don't get to attack I think it's fine also if we kind of want the Rex Age to die though maybe we'll just not play the land I think not playing the land is the, is the path to glory here. 
Hope he tries to disintegrate. That's what we're really hoping for. I mean, he will be able to disintegrate, but disintegrator harness lightning would be great. Oh my god. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. Thank you for the follow. Fail on. But you almost made me miss that trigger. And that would have been sad. Instead, it's incredible. Thank you for the follow. Yeah. Appreciate it. Just in time to see the Rex Age do his thing. Wrecking. Wrecking things. Swing Reno. Holy moly, that felt really good. Also, because I almost missed that timer. Like, if I rewatch this video, that timer's gonna have just this tiny sliver. I like our board state. That's the thing, man. Rex, <laughs> this is why I lost that tournament. The Aether Revolt tournament. Just came up a. was playing very solid vehicle deck and came up a guy who had three Rex Ages. He didn't play anything until turn three, and then he just started dropping Rex Ages. And the value is just too good. Like, he trades with your veteran motorist and he kills your smuggler's copter. It's brutal. Fleshbag is not great here. Because he's just going to sacrifice the stupid scrounger. And we lost the tracker somehow, of course, right before we got our evolving wilds. Well, we can swing here. I think this is a race we can win with double bristling hydra. Yeah, please don't. Sorry. Thank you so much for the follow, fail on. I knew I shouldn't have blamed you, but. And plus, we we accomplished it anyway. So. What's up with you, man? Fail on. Are you interested in trying arena? Have you done that yet? Eleven damage on the board. This comes into play tapped? No, right? It's just ridiculous. Would this card still be good if it came into play tapped? It'd still be better than Despoiler of Souls, but definitely wouldn't be as good. Being able to like pop in and crew something. Glory. Glory bringer. Play flesh bag and then still swing with Quagmire or still play Bristling Hydra. I think we're going to keep the Rex Age around. He exerted the Glory Bringer, so we don't have to see that for a little while. I guess if he wants to trade, that's fine. <laughs> Two unkillable 4-4s. Four Seems okay. 
Boy, I wish this number was two, not three. And our Quagmire will be good to go. We got a lot of good draws here. He killed our Glint Sleeve and our Tracker before we could really get any card draw out of either. That's game. No, wait, he can activate Shambling Vent? I told you I wish that was a two instead of a three. Give me a Fatal Push. Never will work. Never will work. Got him. Oh, no way. He's going to gain two life here. Woo! We got to get in there. Got to get in there. I guess we could have pumped twice. Or just once. We would have had it. 